Hey guys, uh, alright, well obviously the truck's in the garage. Uh, we're running out of decent days. It's really almost freezing, so it's actually kind of cold today, but that's life. I pulled the seat out, obviously. Uh, found the sun visors, so that's pretty slick. So here's what we're working with. The floors are, uh, well, they're, they're actually a lot worse than I thought they were, but pretty much irrelevant. Uh, the passenger side underneath only had a few little holes there. I think what the problem was, it had a rubber mat and it had this uh, insulation. It, it's just soaking wet still. So I'm assuming it probably rotted from the top down because uh, I think the cab supports, I mean, they're, they're rusty, but they're not rusted through which is nice, nice little win. I did buy all that stuff, parts of it anyways. So my plan's pretty simple. Uh, the rockers and cab corners have been done before. I bought uh, the inner cab support, or inner cab corner support. I'll weld that in. And an inner rocker, I think I got both sides. I'm gonna toss it in the back, I don't know where I put them. I have them. Uh, so pretty simple, it's just the inside where it's all rotted out. I'll kind of peel this out. Weld the new one in. Same with the uh, cab support. That's what's going to see, or the yeah, the cab support. That's going to seal it in. And then the floor will go on. I got a deal on floors, and you know what? I didn't look at them to right now. I got two right side floors. Eh, we'll see. I'll have uh, a right side and the left. Story of my life. But really, that's about it. Uh, the cab support's decent. Up here is really good shape. The tunnel's in good shape. I mean, just kind of where the boots were over the years. So I'm gonna to get to cutting that out nice as I can without uh, tearing any wiring and stuff like that, hopefully. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking I'll just cut it all out and I'll just kind of overlap it by an inch, weld it in, seam seal it top and bottom, and it'll be fine for my lifetime with this truck. And then I'll get on the other side. It was a little rusty, but I said not as bad. So I might just put a couple little patches in and be done with it. But I wanna get this done. ASAP and we're waiting on parts for this so hopefully that'll be here in a couple of days but in the meantime we got the ugly job of building in floors so yeah watch me struggle all right well I didn't end up doing any uh, filming because this is ugly as all over the place but uh, basically I cut the floor out cut the side out uh, now the way the floor works is it fits over I'm gonna obviously weld it to the edge and then this little support to clean that up and the cab support it's actually nice and solid still, so that works out good. A little bit of rot down here, so I'll fix that on the side of the floor. Uh, I fit in kind of rough. Let's see if that shows. Oh, helping or hurting with the light here. Oh yeah, this panel right here, so that's the inner rocker. So I got it about where I want it. I have to clean it all up and, and buzz it in. But that's kind of that. The issue I'm gonna run into, if I use this floor, which I'm probably going to, it's just a little bit short because uh, I'm not going to have this drop off, so i got to bring the floor over, which will leave a gap on that side, which in the other world is run a strip in there. And there, uh, I'm just going to use this bit I cut off. It's kind of meant to go together in a, in a puzzle, but if you're only doing one piece, it's kind of a pain, so I'll just kind of, you know, kind of slip that in there kind of thing. Obviously trim it to fit, weld it in, and then I'll weld it to this... Uh, this rocker. I didn't want to take the rocker off because it actually the door fits pretty good and uh, that's just much more work. So yeah, that's where we're going to be. going to do a little bit of cleanup. So we just kind of get some stuff tackled it together, give it some more strength and all that. And then I'll start fitting in that floor. So I'll probably just get a few things tacked in and uh, we'll see how that floor fits. I'm hoping it'll be okay. Uh, I just got a little bit more trim and do around the the gas pedal, I might have to actually drop the gas pedal to get in there just to make a nice even cut and then obviously uh, clean everything up where I'm going to be welding. But overall, the ugly part's over. Well, whatever. Uh, I also managed to get the uh, body of the cab mount on this side, which was shocking. So these always break. Huh? But uh, the, the mount's all wore out, so I need to put it washer and a hockey puck or something like that on the bottom side and the other side i've hosed down with lube because it's actually the same issue but i didn't want to call it easy so i might need some fire and heat but uh, ultimately that's very good progress so i'll just kind of get this ground down get it tacked in and we'll uh, we'll come right back 
Well, I've had a change of mind. <coughs> um, this pan will be a fair bit of screwing around to make it fit, which, I mean, anything's possible, but I'm going to see if I can get the proper one. So just butchering it in. I mean, I can fold it up, move it over. But that's really going to give me a big gap on that side to fill in, which isn't the end of the world, but uh, and also be nice to have the curve that wraps around here. Again, I can slit it and do all that, but I mean, it'll be hours and hours of work, and ultimately it's a floor you're never going to see. So I get the proper pan and plug it in there and carry on might be the way to go. So I think I'm just going to take the uh, mat off the other side and leave it for tonight it's getting pretty late i got all the ugly kind of cutting and grinding work out i'll see what the other side looks like and uh i guess we'll go from there but i think i'm probably going to call it for tonight well instead of stopping i kept going uh so i this is actually the pan i had kind of butchered on that side so i cut it to fit it's pretty good so i ended up cutting out probably more of the floor than i really needed to the reason was there was a rust spot there, rust spot there, everywhere. And I had to cut this piece out because I needed to get the uh, that body bolt. And this, I'm pretty impressed with, guys. Look at that. Half wore out. Still got it out. A little bit of heat and uh, some penetrating oil, and you can get it out there. Don't just hammering it because if that breaks in half, then there's a you know blind nut in there you gotta deal with which is a pain in the ass so this one same thing good shape no issues i'm happy with it so i'm just gonna put the floor on i'll mark this thing here give her a few uh plug welds to hold it same thing across here plug welds and then when i weld it around there i'll kind of trim out the excess it'll fall out the bottom side seam seal it be done with it uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep going or not tonight. It's getting to be about midnight. I've got all the ugly stuff done. So I think that's probably a good, a good point to stop. I, uh, I kept going because I had, you know, I was, I was heating that up and there's the bushing and all that. So there's a fire issue. I was like, eh, I better keep working while I make sure there's no fire. So that's where I'm going to leave that. I'm happy with it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, the light. And really, that's what it's going to look like. Nothing too fancy. I'll then putting some tech screws in to kind of hold it as I weld it around. And we done with it. So yeah. Clean this all up. It actually uh, goes right up in here, which is nice because it was kind of rusty, so I can get in there. This is all still solid. A little rusty. Just full of junk. But this side was quite a bit better. Once the uh, weather strip goes on, you'll never know the wiser. See you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, next day, uh, I stopped by and got a floor pan. Uh, typical place I went didn't have it, so I went to a different place. But uh, overall, I trimmed just a bit at the back, the tow board, and on the side. It's just a little bit short on the tunnel, so I'll have to make a little piece there. But eh, I'll cut a little chunk out. It'll be no big deal, a little extra welding. Uh, that should be fine. Uh, I'm going to mark, and I don't know how far on the tow board up I'm going to go. And like I said, I'm going to pick the uh, gas pedal out. Uh, unfortunately, it's still, it's pretty rotted up on the side, but whatever. Uh, it's going to fit, be just fine. And then I can just uh, splice in there. Yeah, we should be good. A little bit of seam sealer. So, yeah. I've got my uh, work cut out for me tonight. That's for damn sure. There'll be a pile of welding. Uh, but I think I got a new roll of welding wire if I need it. I hope I do. Oh, yeah. oh I got two rolls. I'm really prepared. And I got another tank of welding gas. So, worst case, I'll get it done. So, it's going to be a boring name, not going to lie. This stuff sucks. We'll do a little bit of laps and we'll see how she goes. But, welding in floors. And then the underside, without a hoister, I think it's going to be real ugly to show you what I'm going to do. But, uh... I'll show you when it's done or whatever it may be when I start undercoating it. I ordered a carpet for it today. I'm going to go full, uh, you know, city truck. But I like to be warm, so like I said, I'll get that done, get it welding, get everything I want. I'm going to screw on some body mounts. I'll probably put down that uh, Dynamati type stuff I have, if I still have it, if I still can find it. And then carpet on top, seat go back in. It'll be a nice truck. So 
I'll get this all trimmed out and we'll uh, we'll bring it back. All right, guys. So here we go. Uh, the pan is kind of in. I got a few tech screws holding it. These holes I drilled out. That's where the brace runs front to, uh, front to back, and here is where the cab uh, mount is side to side. Uh, you can see in there, but I drilled correctly. So I can plug weld those or spot weld, whatever you want to call them. Hold that. Uh, there's probably about a half inch or so of overlap, so I put in these tech screws just to pull the panel in. Now what I'm going to do is tack it and then kind of cut with a zip cut and then push it with the hammer and just kind of keep going the whole way around. Uh, I learned that on actually a YouTube video. Uh, my buddy uh, Rick, old time garage. Go check him out. He's another Canadian guy. Tell him Dan says what's up. So that worked out great. Uh, around here, I'm going to need to build up a little bit because it's more rusty. And here, same thing. It's actually, even the metal down there is still kind of meh. So I'll just kind of cut it up and around and I'll do the same thing. Put a little patch in and I've got, you know, leftover same gauge steel for miscellaneous things. Uh, be a little bit more welding and I'll just kind of grind it down. But that's, that's kind of that. Then I can move on to the side piece and then underneath will be super easy because it doesn't have to look pretty. It's just kind of a little bit more support. And really, for inspection to pass here, you just can't get fumes into the cab. So I'll get that and then that. And then actually in the cab corner, even though I'm gonna put panels in, it's uh, the cab floor seals it as it is. So we'll set you up maybe in the laps. I hate welding around the camera, but uh, I'll get it kind of tack welded in, bring it back one more time and then I'll just give her. Ah, I'm an idiot, I forgot to turn the camera on. Um, so anyways, that's what she looks like. Nice and smooth. Uh, so there's my gap I gotta deal with, like I said. And right up there, whoop, right up in the end, the problem is it's so tight in there, I had to run the zip cut in sideways. So the gap was a little bigger than I wanted, so I just jammed a piece of uh, TIG welding rod in there, and I gave it a couple of uh, buzzes. But otherwise, it's pretty good. I haven't attached it there, obviously, because it's still rusted out. Uh, got all my little plug welds done. I gotta take out these last uh, sheet metal screws. This is one of those things that, I mean, the floor is strong enough, it won't do a whole lot, but I've I've forgotten to do this. And I mean, it's not gonna go anywhere, it'll just fit on the the brace, but it goes kunk kunk, kunk kunk, and it'll drive you nuts. So make sure you do that. Uh, okay, so now I actually will turn the camera on, I'll clean up a little bit, and I'm just gonna zip this all the way in. And then it's, uh, it's about seven o'clock, so it's supper time. Let that cool off, let my batteries charge, and then, uh, Probably grind it or maybe finish off a few little spots and get one side done tonight all right the camera's on you get to watch me in fast motion struggle with some uh hillbilly music It's like amateur hour here, the uh, SD card filled up, so it stopped filming. I didn't hear the <clears throat> GoPro beep, so I don't know where it ended. This is where we're at, so the floor is <clears throat> welded in. I still got to do uh, this section, but really not too bad. 
there is good. I put this little side piece in. So it's a bunch of grinding, but uh, I'm gonna weld that one piece in. Underneath, I already have the inner uh, rocker <clears throat> where I want it, but that uh, needs to be tack welded. And then I gotta look at the cap support or uh, rear cap corner, the inner little brace there. See what it looks like? And go from there. So I'll get that one finished up. I'll start grinding. And I think I wanna try and get it all done and seam seal tonight <clears throat> so it can dry overnight. And then tomorrow I'll attack that side, which uh, slightly smaller. So it should be a little bit less work, but not much. But at least it's all trim. This one, I had to trim and, and all that stuff, which does take a fair bit of time, uh, especially when I do it wrong in a few spots. Well, let me show you guys what I did. Well, I cut, I cut my finger pretty good, actually. Ugh. Um, okay, so I got it all in. It's all kind of ground down smooth, stuff like that. I'm happy with it. it. Needs maybe just a little bit more grinding, but I've run out of batteries and patience for myself. But uh, that's that. I'm, it's strong. It's the whole way welded around. Tomorrow will be the other side. Uh, it should be easier because I'm not going up as high, so there's less welding, but more importantly, uh, there's no gas pedal, brake pedal, and it's a little bit lower, so it'll be easier to get in there, easier to grind, all those things. And I won't have to go make a piece there, and hopefully it, uh, it wasn't rusted as bad in the tunnel, and it wasn't rusted on the side of the seat. Driver's side, ugly. Uh, underneath, just wheel under here real quick. I'm happy with it. Uh, so you can see, it's all good. And I don't know if we can reach under here. I haven't seam sealed there. Hopefully that's not terrible footage, but it's all in. It's solid. I'm happy with it. No more issues. But it's, uh, it's like 11 o'clock. I've had enough. And uh, I got to get more grinding discs. I got to get some paint. Typical, well, Typically what I do is I paint this with uh, truck bed coating. But I'm thinking I might not do it this time if I'm going to put down that uh, sound deadener. But I also got to check because I think that carpet I got may have backing on it. So, I don't know. Second thoughts. But, that's it for now. Part 2, pastor side tomorrow. Ugh, sucks. What's going on guys? It's uh, the next day. Uh, it's actually late already. It's... Uh... 9.30, I ended up working late, and then uh, I came to the garage and started jamming. I wanted to get the uh, floors done. It's on the awkward side, so I didn't want to move the truck over. The battery's dead, has no seat in it. Pick your excuse, I didn't do it. Uh, but I did get this side uh, welded in, all solid, plug welded, it's all good. It just needs to be ground down. Uh, I'm trying to jam. Uh, I was out I was in the garage late last night. I was tired today at work, so. Uh, I want to get a normal night's sleep tonight. Anyways, uh, this is what I use. Seam sealer, Rondex. They didn't have any black, so we'll try this clear. See if it makes a difference. I don't think it does. It's paintable. But uh, I'll grind this all down. That side I can do 100%. This side I still got to weld the inner rocker in. But that's all this side needs. And it's really not that bad. So I'll just zip it out and uh, plug it in real quick. I don't, eh, it might not even affect the seam sealer because I think you're welding in the sill itself but uh i'm gonna grind this all out uh, i'm gonna vacuum everything up and i'm just gonna seam seal it. i'm gonna call a night and then tomorrow i can be back at her uh once the seam seal is dry then i can paint it because i want to paint it all black and yeah i don't know so we'll go from there but two two nights three nights yeah the first night i was cutting everything out the second night was that night i welded all that in and then that's three so four evenings you can Weld floors and braces and inners and all sorts of stuff, but uh, I've had enough of it. So I'll uh, grind to it and I'll bring it back one more time. So it's a bit of a boring night uh, for you guys. Probably just a little, you know, one or two minutes of the clip is a whole day, but uh, that's how she's going to go this time. Check that out. So it's still kind of shiny. The paint's going to dry, obviously. It'll flatten out. Use my favorite color, flat black. Uh, I gotta say that clear seam sealer, it actually spread a lot easier in the black stuff. It could be because I had it in the garage and it was warm. Uh, it didn't get all clumpy and stuff. So yeah, we'll let that set up overnight. Let it flatten out. Uh, I did everything I didn't do kind of back here. 
because uh, that's where the seat's going to be, and you actually might see it being gray. So, eh, whatever. I'm stoked on it. Uh, tomorrow I'll kind of show that off a little bit, and then we'll get under it, and I'll finish off uh, whatever I do there. I actually think uh, I might just kind of bolt the seat back in, take it to work, because I want to pressure wash the crap out of it underneath uh, before I kind of seam seal it and paint it. And then get the trans case of the transmission, they're all kind of slimy. And uh, it's a pain doing that at home, it's also getting cold now. So I don't want to do it in the driveway, I can do it on the hoist, like it be a thousand times easier. So, I don't know what we'll do tomorrow. I might just bang the seat back in and, and go for a ride back after hours. Yeah, that's it for tonight. See you guys tomorrow. What's going on guys, next day, just got home from work. Uh, I'm actually going to head right back, but... Here, I'll show you the, uh, this is how the floor's turned out, now it's all dry. Eh, not bad, right? Got a little seam you can seal, but solid, airtight, won't be any issues. Uh, what I was going to do, real quick, this is the stuff I got. I saw it on the internet if you guys were using it, it's like duct insulation. So it's thin, but it's kind of one side thick. I never used it before. Hot rod guys use it like crazy. So I was going to uh, do the floor with it. Because I'm obsessed with not being cold. Because I hate being cold. So I'm going to do that. And then what I was going to do was jam the seat in. And I was going to take this thing back to work. And put up the lift. And I was going to pressure wash the guts of the underside of it. Because uh, I haven't done that yet. And then I got a bunch of undercoating and black paint. So I was going to start getting that all taken care of. But before I do that, I want to make sure it's nice and clean. So I'm going to do that. Get that taken care of, jam the seat in. I have carpet coming, but I won't be here for a few more days yet. Uh, I got some shocks, I got brake hoses, brake pads, I think I have brake shoes. So that's what we're doing next, after I get that all kind of together and make it drivable again. Then we'll finish off the mechanical. I ordered new front springs, shackles. I want this thing to ride, uh, ride and drive nice. So that's the plan. I'm going to get this stuff in. I don't know, it should be pretty simple. Cut it in a strip, glue it on, toss the seat in, back her out wash it, then I can, like I said, undercoat, seam seal, everything underside, and at the same time clean up the garage. Well, the truck's out, because there's leftover uh, truck parts on the ground. And actually, I've been just filling the back up with all the junk I'm not going to use. Yeah, works out pretty good. So I'll get this stuff in, we'll bring it back, then we'll uh, go for cruise to work. All right, I wrestled the seat back in, just temporary. So there's what the floors look like, space age. I did a little bit under the seat. I just kind of did under where the seats would be. It's got a bunch of funky little, you know, roundy rounds and stuff. I didn't go all the way at the back. I figured that's kind of high up and the seat will keep you warm. Never feel like my ass is cold in the truck. It's always my feet. So, yeah, I got that. I'm really, I forget what I ordered, but I'm pretty sure that carpet has that, uh, like the insulation, like this stuff under it. This is still damp, actually. That's crazy. So I'll have that, and then I'm going to keep the floor mat, but uh, I don't know, I probably won't end up using it. I think just carpet and a couple of just floor mats individually, side to side, will be just fine. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get a few more things cleaned up. I got to put the body mounts back in because I did take them out. And then, uh, yeah, throw a bunch of junk in here so I can take it to uh, the BFI. And yeah, I'll go pressure wash the bottom side of it. Should be a fun evening. Well, ultimately, we're back. Uh, I cleaned her up real nice. I mean, I don't know what we can really do there. Got the chassis all cleaned up, but it mostly in the inside. I know what I'm showing you there. It is what it is. Um, you know, everything cleaned up really good. So I'm gonna paint it all up nice because I want to. Um, yeah, I mean, in here, it is what it is. I gotta wait on the carpet yet and stuff, but I think this is probably a good place to end the video. Um, in the mail today, I got Rancho shocks, because everybody needs white shocks with red boots. So I'm gonna put those on. I got front brake hoses and front pads, so we'll be doing that. Um, yeah, so I think that's where we're gonna end the uh, floor section of this old hot rod. I'll jack it up, we'll take the wheels off, we'll start painting it, we'll start cleaning up on the next video. Uh, my buddy Mike's coming by, he's going to pick up the A and take it away uh, for right now. I'm going to start that probably after Christmas or something. I want to work on that 56 Chevy, so that's coming home. And yeah, 
finish up Chevy truck, do a little bit of drive five stuff, and go from there. That's where we're going to leave it. I'm waiting on parts. See you guys in the next video.